This edition of Sports Galore is proudly brought to you by Subway. And now, here's your hosts, Mark Allen and Adam Trelaw. Good day, everybody. I'm Mark Allen, and welcome to Sports Galore. And, of course, this is Adam Trelaw. And I reckon you might have done about 50 push-ups before you, you got on air, no, mate. Look at you. Just normal, mate. You can see the vein. Normal. See the vein, folks? Just you know, pop. it actually did happen. Um, normally, I'm, I'm a uh, large in this. Yeah. But if you chuck it in the dryer, it shrinks. I'm just going to highlight the vein, <laughs> all right? I'm just going to... Well, just there we go. <laughs> and make it stand out a bit. Yeah, too. You're looking in good shape. But um, so I sh- deliberately shrank it so I look a little bit bigger. <laughs> hey, we missed you last week. Yes. What I are the signs for there, Saturday night? Saturday night. Um, are you a chance to see you? Yeah, it should be all right. I'll hopefully get through training tomorrow and then Thursday the main session and then yeah, should be fine. It was hard for me to watch. It was, yeah, I was it was actually ask the that. first time I've missed a game since being in Collingwood mm. Colours and um, seventh game I've missed in my whole career. So, strange feeling? Yeah, very strange. Very strange. And a close one too. Oh, were you, mate, were you was, standing uh, up on the couch yeah, like was, the rest of us? Yeah, my mate's Dom was over. And um, when Stevie J kicked that goal, oh, dropped a few F-bombs here and there and then uh, <laughs> got on with it, went out for dinner. Tell us how hard it is to do what he did, to, to run what at full Stevie pace. What Stevie J did? To run at oh. full pace I don't reckon and somehow <laughs> cleanly get the ball. I don't reckon I've ever, put it this way, I don't yeah. reckon in my... In my, how old am I? I'm 24. In my mm. probably 12 years of playing footy, I've ever hit the pack at full pace and picked the ball up cleanly and kicked the goal. Definitely not at AFL level, and he did, he does that all the time. And it was, was a miracle. First class on the weekend. How about his celebration? It was. How a funny miracle. was it when the spit came out? Did you see that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I wonder what he was saying. I, I did see it, although I didn't think it was funny at the time. <laughs> no, no, neither did I. Was I. A little bit dirty. Like our boys had a crack, and that's what yeah, we they can were good. ask. Yeah, exactly. It's fantastic it was to super, see them having super a crack, and we've got the Hawks this week. We'll talk about that a little later. Now we also had a game over in Shanghai, yeah, we did. In China. Yes, we did. Uh, sold out crowd. It didn't quite I look didn't sold know that, out. Actually. Didn't you know that? No, I sold out. It didn't look sold out because no. I saw a couple of seats here and there. It was a bit of an issue, but there is no doubting that it's a new frontier it is. for our game, AFLs. So we thought we'd have a look at all the games around the world who have sourced a new yeah. frontier. Yes. So just to cover this one off, 10,300 people attended. That's, That's what they're telling crazy. us. 3,000 locals. <laughs> How did they know they were local? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> How the hell did they know they were local? <laughs> they were local. You know how I, you know what I thought was cool? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember um Sammy you would know who is uh the Kardashian? Who's the ex the rapper? What's his uh, name? Um not Kanye, it was uh Tiger. Tiger. Tiger was in it has nothing to do with footy, but I was on Instagram and he tagged that he was in Shanghai. You're kidding so me. So there you go. I just thought, how cool is that? Tiger's there with the footy. You might go watch the footy. That is amazing. Did yeah. you see the Nebos kickers? Is it Tiger? Yeah. Yeah, it's Tiger. Not a shank. He's called like King Gold Chains on Instagram. <laughs> you follow him, would you? No, King I do Gold not. Chains. No. <laughs> King Gold Chains. No. That's what he's called. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? You'll have to show me after the show. Oh, well. Did you see the little netballs kickers at halftime? Yeah, that yeah. Was funny. I know that was little funny. Here I like how they, how when they ran out, did you see when they ran out in the team and every player block was high fiving the Oz kickers as they ran out? It was yeah, reminded me of basketball. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All that stuff is great. Now, previously, the AFL have gone New Zealand. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a real game, actually. I wonder why they don't play there anymore. And we've had out-of-season games in uh, England, England, Abu Dhabi. Have we? South Africa, Los Angeles, Canada, and Japan. I can't remember the, the ones would have gone around it, wouldn't it? Los Angeles? Oh, lots of expats in LA. They would have loved it. Yeah, they would have loved it. Canadians and the Americans. And the New Zealand, they're thinking about going back. St Kilda went there. Well, I think they, they played three Anzac, games there. Was Anzac? They used to play the Anzac round over there? Yeah, clever. I think they're... Going to go back, but they maybe should. up in Auckland is what I'm hearing. Yeah, because they play down what I'm in, hearing. Uh, in Wellington. Wellington, that's the right. Cake yeah, the oh, cake tun. Well, yeah, the cake tun doesn't work. Um, right. In 1972, now how about this? I had no idea. Yeah, they Carlton. Yeah, they flew planes back then. The Blues scheduled a world tour with games scheduled against an all-star team. So mm. they got the rest of the comp. This is the arrogance of the Blues Carlton back then. versus the all-stars. They played a game in London, Athens, and one in Singapore. They did or they scheduled to? They did. How'd they go? Well, the one in Athens played on a soccer pitch. 11 players on the field. Robert Walls kicked 10 goals for Carl. You're joking. Who won? Aren't they doing that now? It's called X... Robert Walls kicked 10 or XAFL? XAFL has played on a soccer pitch now. Yes, it is. They're trying to get up and going. on a soccer pitch. Yeah. They're trying to get this game up. Are they... Would you play that? Just recre- recreationally? What is it? It's XAFL, X-A-F-L, X-A-F-L. versus... No, no. Just called just X- XAFL. XAFL. Of course it would. So 11 blokes on a soccer yeah, pitch. of course it would. Modified, modified rules. What did you just owe about, Sam? No, I realised. <laughs> you just remembered what, what I was talking about. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, they played footy nines as well. Yeah, footy nines is a bit similar like that, isn't it? Well, that Carlton team should take a little credit for that. So Take wait, them. can I? Can you answer who won? Who won the Carlton or the or the All Stars? Uh, well, the Sam game. might find this out. Hopefully, I don't know who won. Minutes. I don't think because uh, if Carlton the, beat the All Star team, that's pretty good. Yeah, so that's so true. it'd be like the Western Bulldogs now, the reigning premiers, versing yeah. the best players in the competition versus the All Australian team, basically. You'd think the Australian went. team would dominate. Well, I can you? tell you this: uh, former Collingwood best and fairest Barry Price laces out Barry Price was on the tour he's as an all-star. Tour as an all-star, so he's, he's an good. absolute gun. Cool. Uh, how about the game in Singapore? How about this? Bizarre circumstances. <laughs> Local laws prevented what? blokes playing with long hair. So a what number for? of the players <laughs> back in 1972 trying to look like the Beatles. Oh, Brucey Dool, he wouldn't have been allowed. Oh, imagine Bruce, <laughs> the, the flying, flying doormat. <laughs> Oh, he wouldn't have been allowed, would he? Imagine he would have the gone Singaporean skinhead. boss staring down the flying doormat saying, now listen, Bruce, we need you to cut those locks. Uh, you reckon uh, he would have? No. He would have. He was the first one to wear a headband, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Now, well, everyone, as far wears as now well, everyone wears it left, right and centre. Carl Dittrich? I think Carl Dittrich okay. might have come before Bruce or now about the same. wears it, mate. When are you? I want to see a black and white one. Kidding me. Go, Iran, go get Pat. Iran, my boy, looks after me. Go and get Pat Cash's old one. No. Did you ever see it? The yeah, black I met, and white I checks? met him. I did it in, um, uh, for the Australian Open. I did a, uh, like a clinic with Pat Cash. Is Pat Cash? Yeah, that's right. And he, I don't know how old he is now. He's just older than me, so he'd be and, 50. And he's still wearing his headband. He put his headband <laughs> he, on for he was playing clinic. tennis, was he? Like, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> well, that was his thing. There we go. Langers. Langers were one on the weekend. Look at that, Tom Langdon. Oh, Speaking of Tom Langdon, played two and a half quarters and had 27 as far as was dominated. Oh, right, Absolutely yeah. dominated. A few other boys uh, did He's reasonably well at the moment. as well. Uh, I think Kel Brown. Speaking of headbands, actually, did you see uh, Alex Vassolo on the weekend pull no. Phil Davis's headband? No. <laughs> it was very funny. What happened? He just happened? yanked at his headband. Phil's <laughs> just like not letting him. <laughs> very uh, funny. I love that stuff. Now, the NFL... Uh, they do this a yeah, bit. Yeah, they always would, though. They've so got the money for it. They've played regular season games in the UK, Mexico, which is just of next course. door. Canada, Canada, just next door. And for the players, a trip from New York to London is almost the same, same as New, New York, York to LA. LA. So it's That's no big hours, deal. It? Back in the old Concord days when we used to have a Concord, <laughs> but it's not there anymore. How's that vein going? Is it going all right? It looks good. Yeah, it looks reasonable. You reckon I should tense a little bit more? Or? <laughs> yeah, I reckon well, you should try and keep okay. it flexed for the rest for of the, the show. For the rest of the show. I reckon I'll you give should. give it a go. <laughs> Uh, they've also played games in Japan, Germany, Why and Spain. Why is there no Australia? No Australia. They only played in Australia. Bring something to tick. 1999, they saw an exhibition game between Denver and San Diego in, in Sydney. But it was just an exhibition oh, game. Okay. It's not the same. Denver Broncos. Paint Manning would have been playing then. Oh, he might have been playing for... Uh, he was no, he would have been playing. Time. Yeah, he he would have been playing. Paint Manning. There we One go. One of the Mannings. Uh, in college football, they do this all the time in yeah, Sydney. they always do. Last year, they had the Cal Golden Bears. I think it's Caltech. Cal Gold Bears. Or California Cal Golden Bears. Golden Bears. Taking on Hawaii uh, the Rainbow That's Warriors. A name, Cal Golden Bears. 61,000 turned up to that game. That's crazy. I think this year. Where was it, where was it held? At the SCG or, or the Telstra Stadium? I'm tipping it's called it would have been Stadium. at Telstra Stadium, was it? This year I know Rice are playing. Uh, who was the other one they're playing? Rice. Stanford. Is that a Stanford. School, Stanford. Stanford. Yeah, Rice. Rice. I used to play against Rice. Ivy Rice League. Is a, is a school. Rice. <laughs> So it must have been Adam Rice, right? And they call it Rice University. It's an Ivy League school. So Stanford taking on Rice. That's yeah, happening well, pretty soon up That's in Sydney cool. as well. That's cool. So they're trying. They are. They are trying. They are. What about the 2020 cricket in the US? Didn't even know they did this. Cricket All Stars. The Americans wouldn't give two hoots about oh, the cricket. Listen to this. You're going to be surprised. They played a three-game series in New York, Houston, and LA. The teams were led by Sachin Tendulkar. Oh, yeah. Shane Warne, yep. featured names like Brian, Brian Lara, Lara, Glenn McGrath, oh, champions. Uh, Matty Hayden, Ricky Ponting, Vivius Laxman, Kumar oh. Sangakara. So the biggest names in the sport and the three games averaged an attendance of 28,000. No, that's pretty impressive. So all the expat Indians in New York and uh, we'll LA, all the expat Australians in New York, LA, Houston, you know, all these other because, places. Mate, you they all came out Mason and Mason Cox about the game of cricket. And he's the closest to any American that we yeah. would ever get to. And yeah. he laughs at it. Doesn't understand it. <laughs> hates it. In the preseason, we played a game of cricket down at the beach when we did a recovery session as yeah. a team. And you know when you bat and you like bat like that and yeah. swing. He Obviously was just holding it like that. <laughs> <laughs> with one hand, though. He was holding it with one hand. Have you ever seen an American uh, bowl? <laughs> Try and keep their arms straight. <laughs> no. It's like Froggy Thompson. The wrong arm goes forward. And they, just, they don't know what's going on. Trying to bowl oh. something. 
Uh, our friends in America, hopefully uh, you're watching this. Can we get Mason show. at some stage? Can we get Surely. actually? Can we try and teach him? Oh, this could the be a great of Australian segment. sports. Let's try and teach him cricket. All right, Mason Cox yeah, the learns to play cricket. <laughs> Can we do that? That would be... Try and teach him the bowl a leggy. centimetre <laughs> Ruckman. I've I seen mean, you bowl leggies. You like them? Yeah, I like oh, your leggies. Yeah, I was, I've not? seen your leggies. Your leggies are quite well, good. Well, they're only 210 centimetre fast bowlers. How big was Glenn McGrath? No, we've got that... Got, we've got the, who's that uh, cricketer we've got at the moment? He's got the big Stark. paws in his run-up. Stark. He pauses and then Pat goes... Cummins? No idea, mate. I've got no idea. Sam, you've got Sam, uh, you this, five mate. minutes to look <laughs> this <laughs> up, Google please. This? How can I Google He's that? He's tall. <laughs> he played in our last uh, uh, one-day international series. No idea, mate. Big Queenslander and a big pause in his run-up. You should know. Oh. Mason Cox, if you're listening, we're going to teach you how to bowl a leg spin. Okay, mate. Leg spin? Yeah. We're Let's going to just get... teach him normal pace and then <laughs> we'll try and give him a leg mate, spin. Anyone can bowl an off spin. Off spin is <laughs> the biggest joke it's not of any spin, skill it's just straight. in any sport. Off spin. You just roll your fingers <laughs> down the ball. That's all you've got to do. Your leggies. Uh, I want to see you teach yeah, him a leggy. I'll do that. Righto. Now, the 2020 cricket, we've covered that off. Ah, here we go. The NBA global, global games. games, right? So, regular season games currently. Played in Mexico and the UK. Yeah, they one off. We're also played in Japan in the early 2000s. I didn't know about that. That's pretty cool. So they're doing it. The NBA are trying. Pre-season NBA games everywhere. Everywhere. Dominican Republic, the China, Euro- Brazil. Euro- they play against their teams, as in... Do they? Like Brazilian teams sometimes play against yeah. the American team. So in time. January this year, NBA Commissioner... Oh, that won't happen. ...had a silver flag year. the possibility of a game in Australia in the near future. So you're our NBA expert. They won't They won't do it. They say it every year and they won't happen. A couple of years ago, they meant to bring the All-Stars out. They didn't come out. So if Ticket Tech opened up the gates yeah, and said... Of course I'd be and there. said, I'd Golden be the first State one there. are playing OKC. Okay, so. You know what I'd do? I'd ring Eddie Maguire <laughs> and then I'd ask him, can you please get me... At on least the floor, ten, take, ten tickets on the floor in yeah. the change room, so I can meet all of them. All right, so I want to ask you. All right, where's the best place to play it? I mean, do you play it at oh, Eddie Head Stadium? No, to where it's under a roof, yeah. but not everyone's going to be able to see the It'd game be beautifully. It's a tough one, Marco. Or do you go to Rod, Rod Laver. Laver? You'd go Rod Laver because you want the atmosphere to be. Uh, although you won't get as many people mm. there, you want the atmosphere to be real close and tight. Yeah. Imagine going to Etihad, sitting way up in the bleachers, yeah. you won't be able to see anything. So in Sydney, I don't think they've got a place. They've, they've got where the, the Kings exhibition play. centre, but I think they're redoing that. So oh, about 10,000 people in Melbourne. there. You know what? Just play it here. Play how, it on the sprung how floor. How many games? How play many? it on the sprung floor and we'll stand and watch. <laughs> well, in the glass we'll house. Sit in the, we'll, we'll sit in the, on the green chairs. You know, I used to come we'll here to watch basketball. <laughs> well, there you go. St. Let's Kilda, get it happening. The St. Kilda Saints used to be my team. Let's get, St. Kilda Saints. They were my team in the basketball because I knew some of the players that were members at Huntingdale Golf well, Club. Well, there you go. Let's get it happening. Oh, Which man. two teams did you say that I'd like to see? Yeah. Well, obviously, my boy KD. Yes. So, the Golden State Golden Warriors. State. And just because we're never going to witness anyone as good as LeBron bar Michael Jordan. Yes. So LeBron and we uh, need LeBron so and Cleveland it. and Golden State. They're my two. But the odds on that happening are oh, next to none. A joke. Next to none. Righto. Disappointing. Um, now, thanks oh, to our good friends at Subway. Subway. Yes. It is now time for the inside Side story. story. <laughs> I got a cup. I got two actually. A real, real. Wouldn't it? this is a shock? This first one. Alright. Anyway, remember how you know I made Gork McKeel Gork. <laughs> anyway, yes. listen. Well done for getting him in too, by the way. Great effort. Gork McKeel Gork. So the story is, I don't. So I don't know him. Right. I just know him because one of my best mates, Sam. You keep looking at my vein. Yeah, I know. I'm just making sure it's in the right shape. Um, anyway, <laughs> oh, he's drunk then. Anyway, he, Sam Darley, he's one of my best mates. He used to right. play with me out in Sydney. That's how I knew him because because of um, because he was one of his mates. Right. And I seen Sam on Friday, and we're talking about our show and how he loves you and loves this. And yeah, right, good. And then he goes, um, I'm like, oh, you like how we're mentioning about Gok McKeel Gok? And he laughed. And I'm like, what are you laughing at, mate? He goes, well, his name's not Gok McKeel Gok. It's Gwat. Gwat? <laughs> it's Gwat. So he's been part of this show <laughs> it's Gwok. for a year and a half. And we've had his name wrong from the start. Gwat. <laughs> it's Gwat. So spell that. So G- G-U-A-T. Did you just say Gwat. Gwat. <laughs> you said yeah, I did. Gw. <laughs> G-U. G-U-A-T. Where's, is that it? Where's, where's Gw in the alphabet? Or is it W? A B C U E. He <laughs> just said Q. I'm trying to gloss over it, you mum. So it's G U A T. Or is it G W A T? I don't know. Gwat. But his first name's Gwat, because I got the clarification. Right. Gwat. It's Gwat, middle name McCure, last name Gwat. So at school, they said Gwat Gwat. 
That's and they used to call the roll and say, Gwat Gwat. <laughs> Gwat Gwat. <laughs> Gwat Gwat. Gwat Gwat. <laughs> Present. <laughs> quite, quite. Yeah, right, there you go. You don't need a second one. My second story. No, that's perfect. I was thinking about when I met The Rock, but we don't need that. Oh, save, the the in, save when you <laughs> met The Rock <laughs> for next week. So, Guat McEwer Guat. That's his name. Right. He, he lives in Tassie. He doesn't know where he is at the moment. Apologies oh, to the Guat, our boy Guat. Guat Guat. Guat Family Guat. for calling him the wrong name for so long. We've been calling him for so long. <laughs> What a shame. Oh, there you go. Uh, your turn for the Again, you wouldn't believe it. Me. Yeah, it oh, is you. One. Your chance. All right, ready? Listen. You ready, Marco? I don't know the answer either. So the Spurs are playing the Golden State in the Western Conference Final at the moment. Yes, as you final. know. Yep. Golden State won it, actually. one nil up. Their star player, Kawhi Leonard, has arguably been the best well, player all year, pretty yes, much. He's, a, he's, yeah. he's definitely the most important player for the San Antonio Spurs. Mm. Anyway, you wouldn't believe it, but the Phoenix Suns passed on the chance to draft Kawhi Leonard in 2011. Do you I'd know why? That. No, I'd believe yeah. that. Do you know why? Yeah, that's all the fair. time. Do you know why though? No. The reason, the reason why they didn't draft him is because he was so nervous he sweated through his suit during the interview. So they decided <laughs> to draft Markeith Morris. <laughs> you remember Markeith Morris? What did, so he just had wet underarms. So this guy who's going to go down as a Hall of Famer, one of the greatest players in the history of because he was this absolute superstar, didn't get drafted because he was sweating through his suit. And so they drafted one of them twins that we had from last week. Remember the so conspiracy hang on a second. theory? What box do you tick for that? <laughs> nice know. guy, plays well, quiet, Answered humble, qu- yeah, star, humble. defensively, offensively, does it hang all, on. athletic. Look at the sweat <laughs> on this character. Oh no way! <laughs> I mean, come on. Wait, so, is it true or false, no, mate? False. It's true. Oh come on. It is true, no, no, mate. No, that's not right. It is true. And look, a look, sweaty dude gets the cross. And listen, uh, Marco, <coughs> ever since the Spurs drafted him, yeah. well, they haven't missed the playoffs in since 1998, so yeah. it's been almost 20 years. Kawhi has gone on to win Defensive Player of the Year twice and a Finals MVP and a ring for the Spurs. Phoenix Suns, who missed out on him, yeah. haven't made the playoffs since 2011, so uh, I think they got it wrong there. Well, he's great for a sweaty dude. He's pretty good. <laughs> they drafted Marquise. <laughs> and they drafted Marquise Morris. Oh, well. One of the twins. We spoke about him the other yeah, week. Yeah, we did. Yeah, boy. Uh, very, very good. Got and killed Gwat. Two good stories, dude. <laughs> Got Two and very Kawhi. nice stories. We've got Gwat. We've got Kawhi. <laughs> Gwat, Gwat. Marquee. Gwat, Gwat. Gwat, <laughs> Right, uh, time for Do You Care, and we can't get to it fast enough, to be fair, Sammy. Yes, <laughs> NFL. Now, they have sought advice from Port Adelaide after success and of the, the China you're game. You're joking me, are you? American football wants a game between San Fran... Yeah, and the and Rams, the China. LA Rams. That's cool. Do you reckon that's pretty good if we're setting the standards? I do care because that's uh, right. the NFL. That As is in a tick. get involved with me because I can get free tickets to games over there. There you go. That's what it's all about, mate. Connections. Getting free tickets. That's what <laughs> exactly. it's all about. Now, in the <laughs> AFL, the Wall Street Journal has named Collingwood's machine oh, team in the 1920s as one of the 16 greatest teams the in Wall the Street history Journal. of sport. The Wall. The Isn't Wall that Street. American? Like that New York? is the New York. How do they even know anything about... <laughs> Oh, football. It doesn't matter. One of the that 16th is greatest crazy. teams in the history of oh, sport. Speaking of uh, have, my yeah. knowledge, have a listen to these other teams. It was, mate. San Antonio Spurs. Oh, there you go. Listen to some of these teams we're in, mentioned in the same breath as the 49 to 53 New, New York, York Yankees, Yankees. 56 to 69 Bill Russell's Boston oh, yeah, when Celtics. He runs 10 rings in 12 years. Correct. The San Antonio Spurs. 97. Probably, I said 98. 97 to so 2016, but probably till crazy. present day. Yep. Uh, and Richie McCaw's All Blacks. That's strong. Oh, 1920s. Yeah. That is crazy. That is genius. That is well awesome. done. Hey, in cricket, Cricket Australia and the Players Association continue to clash over wages for cricketers. Oh, Not you blokes anymore. You're all done and you're dusted. Joking. And well done on that result too. It's awesome. probably, it probably went pretty well. It did. A player boycott uh, may coincide with the Ashes in in, uh, in Australia this year. So if the so players... So just going to boycott the Ashes and not play it. Well, I'll tell you what, James Sutherland, uh, after the email that was sent around, I don't think he'd be sitting too comfortably they in his big chair money, today. Yeah, they make <laughs> plenty of cash. Quite a bit of money. Plenty of cash. Oh, well, there you go. You can always never get enough money, can you? you? Care, I care about that. Oh, I, I would, they've got because to fix if I was up. playing... Yeah. Exactly. They've like you said, we just got a deal done, so I'm on their side. Back to the NBA. James Harden oh, is one of the all-time great This is shocking. In Game Six of the Rockets Spurs, uh, well, watched, I haven't seen it. Tell I me about it. I watched this whole game from the start Friday. It was Game Seven. No, it was Game. This is the Ginobili 
So this is, yeah. Block, is it? Yes. Is it that one? Yeah, no, no, that. that was the game before. That was game five. So what even game so six? 3 2. Houston have to win. It's do or go home. It's their home game. So mm. everyone tipped them to win 3 3, then go to Spurs and probably lose. Anyway, they ended up losing by 72 to 115. <sighs> they lost by 43 points in their home At deck. Home. And James Harden, I, I don't want to put any conspiracy theories on here, but I reckon he got paid to throw the game. <laughs> have you ever watched The Longest Yard? Yeah. So have you seen when yeah. Adam Sandler gets paid at halftime to throw the game? Yes. It's almost it like, like that. He, he was horrendous. Like, And this bloke is probably going to win the MVP or maybe just yeah. miss out to Westbrook. Absolute superstar of the competition. And it was the worst game he's ever played in his life. No shocking. fear in that beard, oh, mate. Oh, mate, it was shocking. No fear in that And then you know what happened that all? night? What happened? He was seen later. He was in Houston, so he went out to the club and as in 2A club and you know was seen partying and drinking and everyone was chatting MVP oh in the God. club so uh, maybe he had other things on his mind but um, maybe he it did. was a horrendous performance uh, horrendous in the, in the WNBA oh this is just, this is sad AFLW star uh, women's NBA player Erin Phillips a god of the a- AFLW yeah like the Brownlow medal will yeah, be called the Phillips comp. medal probably it will be the way it's going to go um, retired from the WNBA after being cut no, by yeah, the Dallas she got Wings delisted. do you reckon what that a shame because she came over and played in our oh, league. Do you maybe. reckon that had anything to maybe do with it? Maybe they potentially thought that there was no desire as That what makes it me been. care. It does. It's a shame. If that's what a the reason they've done it. That oh, might, well, more time to spend playing footy. It might have just been lingering around in the background, mm-hmm. I reckon, that one. Hey, tennis, Eugenie Bouchard. Oh, this is funny. Beat Maria Sharapova Both last week in the Madrid Open. Great stare down. Do you care one? I do, of course. Yeah, it was. The two, my two favourite girl. And then players. Sharapova <laughs> went on social media after the match and liked a tweet making fun of Bouchard with a mock book caption saying, I wish I was Maria Sharapova. Really? Just goes on and on. Girls being oh, girls. No. <laughs> boys can be boys. Yes, they can be. But this one's just girls being girls. Yeah, and in fighting. the soccer, Chelsea have won the EPL title with I two games that. spare. I've seen the celebration because did you see... Um, no, I haven't seen it yet. That bloke put his finger up someone's bum. Do you see that, Sam? No, I have not seen this. No, listen, <laughs> and there was they're worried. He was the uh, right. Who's the striker for Chelsea? This is. Do you follow your soccer? What's that? Do you follow your soccer? Yeah, I do, but I've kind of been watching all the AFL Who's this weekend. Who's the striker for Chelsea? Oh no, I do. He's a good player. He's a gun. A gun. Anyway, they were celebrating, and the camera was just on them in the changing yeah. room, and one of the guy was bending over to like, yeah, I think do his shoelaces up, and he just. Walk past and put his finger up a his little bum ho- and get walking. A little hopawate action. <laughs> yeah, and he just get walking. Well, we all we're all friendly like that. We slap each other on the bum and. <laughs> but not the celebrate. digit. <laughs> you can leave the digits out. Well, mate, that's how they celebrate. Uh, well, that's it for us today. It is. Now, coming up on Saturday, Saturday night Big at the game. MCG. It's a massive Big game. game Before us. the game, there's a Lou Richards tribute that you won't want to miss. Uh, it is a home game for the Pies. We're taking on the Hawks. It's a 7.25 p.m. start. Ads, good luck. I hope you get up. Thank you. I hope you're playing for Thank us, buddy. And we'd love a big win over the Hawks. All the members get along, even if you're not a member. Make sure you get through the gates to see this Lou Richards special. We want to give uh, the boys all the support we possibly can and hopefully take home four points against the Hawks on uh, Saturday night at the MCG. See you next time, folks. Thanks to our friends at Subway, this has been another episode of Sports Galore. If you've got feedback on the show or you have a topic you'd like the guys to talk about, use the club's official social channels to let us know. Go Pies.